Hey, what's going on, Capadre? How you doing? Jeff Amon here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, so I got some good old-fashioned free traffic training for you today. And today we're going to be talking about solo ads. Uh, before we'll get to that in just a minute, but before we get into the training, I kind of want to go over just a general, so I can give you a general idea of the types of traffic that I am sending on a daily basis to my business, to my online business. I want to go over them, talk to you about them a little bit, and then we will get into solo ads. This is going to be solo ad training part one. Uh, the next part of this training is going to be uh, going to be me actually buying a solo ad and using the traffic source. I don't want to put it all together in one video because that'd make for a long video. So right now, let's just get the basics down of solo ads because it's very, very important that you get these basics down because with any sort of traffic, especially paid traffic, with any sort of traffic, there are ways, obviously, to maximize the results you get, but there are also ways, well, with any sort of paid traffic, you have a chance of losing money, all right? And so I want to make sure that doesn't happen. I want to make sure that you have the the, the correct things in place, and many times you may still um, lose money, but I want to maximize your chance of making sales and making it a worthwhile investment paid traffic is definitely a worthwhile investment on my part um and i love paid traffic guys because even if i wake up and you know don't do a video or don't post on social media or don't do any of these other organic sources of traffic methods of traffic i know that i've still i'm still going to have dozens even hundreds of leads coming in on a daily basis because of paid traffic all right so let me get into the main sources of traffic i'm personally using just to give you an idea hopefully help you maybe possibly give you some ideas so free um also could be um organic traffic that i'm using social media and i'm not huge on social media so i do youtube uh, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram for Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. Usually that is just going to be short form videos. So reels, for example, Facebook reels, that sort of thing. I don't do a lot of posting on social media, guys. I'm kind of a, uh, I don't know, I'm an introvert. I don't like to, I'm a private person. So I don't like to, to be posting all the time on social media. So if you're kind of like me, and you don't have a huge social media presence, then um, there are other ways to build your email list. All right, and that's what we're going to be doing here, guys. That is the that is the focus of the paid traffic that we're going to be sending. We're going to be sending traffic to a um, capture page, a lead capture page, to where we can be building our email list and following up. So those are the types of free traffic that I am getting. All right. Um, through social media. So YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Once again, um, reels, short form videos are something that you should really, really look into and focus in on. Because I tell you what, um, the, the reels that I do put up and I'm going to start, I'm probably going to end up uh, hiring a social media manager, um, having somebody pump out these short form videos for me because they do get a ton of eyeballs on your website but kind of going off on a tangent there this is about solo ads not reels all right so another free source of traffic that i use is affiliate traffic and what do i mean by affiliate traffic well i have my own product i have um, a traffic service called the click engine i've got another uh, program or not a program, but another product, another course called Profit Fundamentals that teaches about email marketing. And if you have a, uh, if you have your product hosted with certain platforms, it makes it really, really easy to attract affiliates, especially with a platform called Warrior Plus. I love Warrior Plus because of this very, very reason right here because it is extremely easy to pick up affiliates. All right. So if you're wondering, if you're thinking about, you know, creating an information product, I would highly recommend you look into Warrior Plus because you can, um, you can easily recruit new affiliates to promote your products for you. So 
This is free traffic that I'm getting. I have hundreds of affiliates that send traffic to my website every single day for me for free. So those are the two main free sources of traffic that I'm using free and uh, well, social media and affiliate traffic. Let's get into the paid. All right, list builders, I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, but below this video, there is going to be a URL in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a URL. If you're watching this already on that URL, then you're good to go. But somewhere on this page, it's going to lead you to a page. They're going to have training number one and training number two and everything that I mention in these videos. So I'll have a link if you want to learn more about what list builders are. Login ads. Once again, there'll be a link below if you don't know what I'm talking about. And here we go. Another um, paid traffic method that I use are retargeting ads. So I hire somebody to do this. I don't even touch this, guys. I, I use an agency. I realize some of these things are going to be out of your reach at first. But as you start building your income, your affiliate marketing income, and you have this disposable income coming in, well, you want to keep on gaining that momentum. All right. We want to be thinking long term. We want to be continuing to build our email list every single day. And so it's smart to obviously reinvest some of your profits back into advertising so you can keep that ball rolling. You can keep that um, that momentum going, because once you gain that momentum, unless you just really, really screw things up, it's um, it's hard to it's hard to lose that momentum, guys. So uh, momentum is a great thing when you have money in. Keep that um keep that momentum going by purchasing more ads and building your email list bigger. Once again, we're all focused here on building our email list. Um, affiliate recruitment ads are another thing that I do. So I told you it was really, really easy on Warrior Plus to get affiliates. Well, you can actually purchase advertising on Warrior Plus that get in front of affiliates. And so I also do that as well. And here's the, the final type of um, paid traffic that I do. And that is what we're here to talk about today, guys, here to talk about solo ads. So solo ads are email advertisement, uh, advertisements, and essentially a list owner will send an email to their email list and they charge you per click they send you. So it can be anywhere from as low as like 30 cents per click up to even $2 per click, depending on the type of list that they're sending it to. For example, sometimes you can find deals where a list owner will send to their buyers list nothing but buyers and you know they'll charge you you know two three bucks for that which in many cases is well worth it um depending on your offer but like i say um we're going to be getting into that mainly in the second video i'm going to show you some of the different types of traffic that you can pay but that's the gist uh that you can use but that is the gist of it guys email advertisements are um simply emails that other vendors send to their list and when somebody clicks and they go to your website they charge you hopefully that makes sense so let's get into some extremely important points here that i want to make because 99.99 percent of the time guys you will not break even when you're buying paid traffic let's say you're sending traffic to a capture page you're capturing that email um and there is a chance you're going to get some sales and in the video below or in part two of this i'm only going to show you vendors that i have personally made sales with however the majority of the time the amount of sales don't add up to the amount of money i paid for it well why you're saying to yourself well jeff what, what the hell that don't make no sense why are you telling me to buy solo ads if i'm not going to make money immediately it's because it, it takes time, guys. You have to have the, the email follow-ups in place. You have to be following up consistently. You have to, I mean, sometimes, guys, it may take 30, 60, 90 days before you um, break even with that particular solo ad that you bought. But what we're, the idea here, guys, is to build our list. You're going to have repeat buyers. The, the, the goal here is to continue to build your list every single day. And if you're consistent, once your list gets up to 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, if you're consistent, you're going to be able to make a ton of sales and the, the 
the solo ads that you buy will eventually, when you reach that mark of subscribers, will eventually pay for itself. And so got to be thinking of solo ads and paid traffic sort of as an investment. And if you're thinking that you're just going to purchase, I mean, this goes with anything, guys. This goes with Facebook PPC. This goes with the retargeting paid ads that I buy. This goes with the um, affiliate recruitment ads that I buy. I never really break even on the front. But what I focus on every single day is building my email list. And if you stay consistent with email follow up, then you are going to, once your list reaches a certain size, um, you're, you're going to be making sales day in, day out. And of course, um, also, especially if you have recurring products, let's say you make that one sale, you only make one sale from a solo ad vendor, right? And that solo ad, let's say, cost you 100 bucks. You make one sale and that sale was worth 25 bucks. All right, well, you didn't break even on that first solo ad, but if you're if you've got like a recurring product a recurring service that you're promoting, you'll break even at month four, right? So it eventually will break even and even become profitable for you. So I hope I'm getting that point across here, guys. This is a long-term game. Online marketing is a long-term game. Um, you need to be thinking in the long term. You need to be thinking about building an email list and having a follow-up in place that is going to continuously go out um, whether you want to do that with email follow-ups and set up like four or five months in advance that way you don't have to worry about sending out the emails or you want to send broadcasts i do both i've got about uh, 30 emails in my follow-up sequence when people initially join my list i've got about 30 emails that go out no matter what and then i broadcast damn near daily um, to my list as well. All right. So sometimes people get two emails from me a day. Most of the time after they go through that sequence, people are only going to be getting one email from me per day, but it ends up breaking out in my favor with time because I've got consistency on my side. All right. And I've got recurring income on my side as well. All right. Because the products that I like to promote are high quality affiliate products and programs where it is a monthly service. All right. So um, on the page, uh, on this page, I'll have, uh, I can add some of what I'm promoting as well to give you an idea, a breakdown. I'll probably have an additional video on this page going over my basic business model. So um, it can help you even more. But I just really want to get that um, across to you guys that most likely you're not going to break even on the front end need to start thinking of this in the long term all right so hopefully that makes sense all right so let's see if i already covered all this yes the key to making paid traffic profitable is long-term email follow-up sometimes months of email follow-up all right so what you want to do guys is you want to mirror your email ad copy to your capture page so there is no disconnect and uh, in the next video i'm going to be giving you an example of the capture page that I'm using right now to, to send solo ad traffic to. I'm going to show you the landing page. I'm going to show you how I track to see if the solo ad vendor is actually getting me sales. And uh, we'll go from there. You also want to be, um, once again, I told you I'm going to show you my bridge page. You definitely never want to be sending traffic to, right to a uh, right to a sales page all right and if you listen to anything that i just said you'll understand why because you just be throwing money away because you might make one or two sales when you send solo ad traffic but you're most likely not going to break even so you want to be collecting that data you want to be collecting that email and you don't want to just collect the email and then send it right to the sales page you want to have a bridge place a uh, bridge page in place simply a bridge place a uh, bridge page is a page that bridges the gap between the offer and um, you and the offer. So I'll show you an example on the next video. They work brilliantly. I don't ever send traffic any to any capture page unless the next video is going to a bridge page um, where I can pre-sell the products, like a pre-sell page, essentially, guys. All right. Um, all the affiliates, all the biggest affiliates um, on the planet that I know of at least have a pre-sale page of some sort. And that's just another way to say bridge page. All right. All right.
let's talk about the list now. Let's talk about now that we're collecting that email, I'm going to show you some ways to, to absolutely um, maximize the amount of sales that you can get and also really become memorable to your uh, new subscriber. That is extremely important. Most likely, guys, these people that come from solo ads, they are going to be on a lot of different lists. They might be on a lot of different lists and they might be getting a lot of different emails from different people. Um, everybody's, heck, I'm on a ton of lists. And so it's really important, like the the marketers that I follow, the marketers, uh, the, the emails that I open, they were memorable to me in some way. They provided awesome value. Or um, it could be as simple as having a video, guys. Make your first email as memorable, uh, memorable as possible. Having a video is ideal. Just welcoming yourself. So on that bridge page, having a video is ideal. It's not mandatory by any means. Your pre-sale page, bridge page, doesn't have to have a video of you. You could be promoting um, somebody else's funnel, so to speak, and that's perfectly fine. But in that welcome email, at least, you know, introducing yourself, having a picture of yourself, um, having something memorable about yourself in that first email is really, really important because, guys, check this out. Um, that first email is going to be the highest open rate that you ever get in your entire uh, for that uh, for that email sequence that you have. All right, it's gonna be the highest email that ever gets opened, that initial email. So that initial email needs to be memorable. So um, introducing yourself, providing some extra value bonuses, stuff like that, um, a video is going to go a long way. That way the next email, the next time you send an email, the, the next time that email hits their inbox from you, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, I remember that dude. And they're gonna open up and see what you have to say. Now. Another way is to have a resource page or an about me page set up in your PS. So I do this, guys, and let me go ahead and pause this real quick. I'll give you an example here. All right, so check this out. Here is an email um, that I recently sent. And in my PS, as you can see here, I say, I often get asked what tools I'm using to, gener to generate multiple six figures per year in revenue. Um, so you can click here and get access to a resource page I made for it if you're interested in that sort of stuff. All right. So this one simple PS, guys, this one simple resource page, um, it can earn you a ton of extra income and it gives you the chance to earn that extra income. Even if somebody comes into your email list and they aren't, let's say, uh, particularly interested in that first offer that you're promoting when you're building your list, even if they're not interested in that. Um, that's why you want to become memorable. That way people will still open your emails and still read what you have to say and still be interested in other stuff that you're doing. It's really important to have multiple in, uh, income streams. And I'm not talking about going out there and promoting a ton of different opportunities, business opportunities and stuff like that. That stuff doesn't work. Um, what works is simply sharing the tools. And for me, guys, I've made so much money promote simply promoting the tools and resources that I use. The page builder that I use make thousands of dollars per month simply sharing that with people. Um, if I come across a course that I really like, I become an affiliate for that course and I share it with my email list. All right, there are a ton of different ways that you can earn multiple income streams online. And when you're building your list, it's a must, guys. If you want to cut down um, that time that it takes to break even, you definitely want to be making multiple income streams. All right. And so if you have these other income streams in place, the time it takes you to break even from that paid traffic purchase is going to keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller because even maybe somebody's not interested in the product that you promoted or maybe they're, um, the affiliate program that you promoted, maybe they're not interested in the page builder you promoted. Um, but maybe they are really interested in that cool course you just um, went through and they want to check that out and then they pay and you get a commission and you earn a commission. All right. So I just highly, highly recommend sharing what you're doing online. If you've ever purchased anything that you really liked, if you, you the tools you're using, use that guys. 
promote that as an affiliate as well and earn commissions um, because um, it's, it's helping them out. It's helping people learn exactly what you're up to. And it is a great way to earn extra commissions. So that is what I'm talking about there, guys. All right. So we got the resource page. We've got that first email. We're going to be memorable as possible. Here we go again. Marketing is a long term game and mindset, guys. Just want to reiterate that. And I just talked about multiple streams of income, I have multiple streams of income in place. And like I said, I'm not talking about promoting uh, a ton of different business opportunities. Usually it's good to focus on one main affiliate program. Um, that's what I do. And then I share additional um, complementing offers as well. You know, like I just said, um, I share traffic sources. I share all of that and all of that um, adds up. All of that adds up to additional income that you can create while you're building your list. All right. So that is it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we are going to actually, I'm going to show you the funnel that I uh, am currently using to send traffic to via retargeting ads, via solo ads, and via social ads, pretty much all the traffic right now that I'm sending into my funnel. And we will go from there. Thanks for watching.